Hello, in this tutorial we're going to use Adobe Flash to create a photo masking effect. So um, before we get started I'll show you exactly what it will look like. So I've got my exported animation file here and this is what it will look like. So we have a black and white image and a color image and there's a color uh, photo masking effect happening there. Okay, so this involves a few things. Firstly, we require two images. So we require a black and white image and a color image. And um, we also need to use the um, motion tween effect and mask effect. So these are the two images I've got here. I've got um, exactly the same image, but one is black and white and one is color. But they're exactly the same size, um, but just one's black and white and one is color. And that's in my folder there. Okay, I have created a new animation here. So to do that, I clicked on File, New, and then chose um, Action Script 3.0 as the type of file I'm going to work with. And I've set up the stage to um, the size that I want, so the width and the height that I want for this. Um, so the width of the stage and the height of the stage should be the same as the image. So um, you need to get the images to fit perfectly in your stage and um, they should both be in exactly the same position. So to get started, I've got a layer here, layer one. I'm going to call this one black because that's going to have the black and white image on it. And then I'm going to import that image. So go file, import to stage. And then I'm going to import that black and white image onto the stage. Okay, make sure that it's on the stage, which it is. So it's the same size of the stage. Um, so that's fine. I'm going to create a new layer and call it color. Let's double click on the text on that layer and change the name of it. And on this layer, I'm going to import to the stage the color image. Okay, now it's because the image is the same size as stage, it's just put it straight onto the stage in the right position. So they are, um, they are in the right position position. So if I hide one of these layers, I hide the color one, I can see that the black and white one behind it is in exactly the same position. So that's important. They need to be in the same position on each layer. Okay, so we've got the black layer, color layer, and on top of that we're going to add a third layer and we'll rename this to mask. Okay, on the mask layer, on the first frame, we need to create a shape that we'll actually use for the mask. So it's just going to be a rectangle. So we'll grab the rectangle tool. Doesn't matter what color it is. And just draw a rectangle there. Okay. You can use the uh, free transform tool if you need to resize it or we'll move it around. But we want it to start from the left side, right on the end there. So get it in the right position. And then it's going to go from the left across to the right hand side and then back again to the left hand side. So before we create the motion tween, I'm going to right click on that shape and convert it to a graphic symbol. And we'll just call it mask shape. OK. And now we can right click on that and click on create motion tween. Now automatically Flash has added 24 frames here for this motion tween. But if we only use 24 frames, this uh, mask will be moving backwards and forwards really quickly. So we're going to extend that out. I'm going to make it mm, about 80 frames. Um, but you can make it longer than that if you want to be a bit slower. Okay, so we've got 80 frames there of motion tween. So I'm going to go halfway on the timeline on that motion tween to the 40th frame. And I'm going to click and hold down the mouse to drag this shape over to the right hand side okay now you can see there's a path there of where that shape moves across the stage then i'm going to go to the last frame and move it back to the left hand side okay so if we go back to the first frame basically starts over starts on the left hand side goes to the right and then back over to the left again okay now you'll notice that the images disappear after, or well, the color image disappears after the first frame. And that's because the color and the black and white image only exist on the first frame. So we need to 
extend them across the timeline to um, be on the stage for just as long as the motion tween is. So we can right click on the 80th frame on the color layer and insert a keyframe and right click on the um, 80th frame on the black layer and insert a keyframe as well. You won't see that black and white image though because it's at the bottom of the list of layers. So it's behind everything else at the moment and that's what we want. Okay, now all we need to do, just one more step, is to actually use this um, layer to um, apply a mask. So we right click on the mask layer and then click on mask. There we go. Okay, so now we can just click on play and watch our uh, photo mask effect. There we go. Okay, so it starts from the left, moves across to the right, and then goes back over to the left side of the stage again. And so it's masking that image, so we have the black and white image behind, and as that shape or motion tween works its way across the stage, it reveals the color photo instead. So that's a cool effect that we could use um, in an animation or maybe on a web page. Um, now, Flash will just automatically loop this. So when we click on Control, Test Movie, and In Flash Professional, you'll see that this animation is just on a um, constant loop. So it'll just keep repeating. All right. If you um, don't want it to loop, then you could um, add some uh, action script code to get it to stop at the end and um, not loop. But that's basically how to create a photo mask effect using Adobe Flash Creative Cloud. Thanks for watching.